next we see the tree diagram the tree diagram to see the visual usually all possible outcomes of an random experiment so the tree diagram represents the possible outcomes tree diagram represents the possible outcomes so the tree diagram is represent the possible outcomes let's see the first we see the dice in a dice for a single die we know that the possible outcomes here are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 then 5 and then 6 these are the possible outcomes in a single die this is the tree diagram for single die next we do the tree diagram for the two dies next a tree diagram for two dies for a single die we have the numbers from 1 2 3 4 5 and then we take it as 6 these are the possible outcomes in a single die now we want to draw the possible outcomes of two dies imagine the first die is always 1 the second die is first one it is 1 and then we get 2 and then we get 3 and then we get 4 and then we get 5 and then we get 6 and then the second time if we give the experiment the first die is always number 2 and then it will be repeatedly the second die is changing the numbers 1 2 and then 3 like this so we have the tree diagram for that one we have 6 I already told you in the first die the number one did not change. In the second die we get the number one, two, three, four, five, and then six. As well as the in second die we get that here in the first die always we get the number two, but in the second dies we get number one, two, three up to the number six like this, and then. in a first die the first one is always 3 the second die is we have the number from 1 to 6 and next one the first die is always 4 the second die is we have the different numbers from 1 to 6 and finally we have the first die is always number 6 did not change and but in the second die is we had the number from 1 to 6 imagine the first die is did not change anything if you rolls we get the number 6 itself but in the second die only we get that number as changes so this is the tree diagram for the two dice when we roll two dice this is the tree diagram we get next we draw the tree diagram for a coin for one coin for one coin we have the tree diagram this is the coin then we have the tree diagram as head another one is Tail. This is the total possible outcomes for the single coin. If the same coin is tossed twice, or two coins are tossed, we get the tree diagram as for two coin. So first one we take it as coin one, second one we take it as a coin number two. So when we toss these two, in first coin we get head. in second coin we get tail one of the possibilities and then again we have tossing that we get that the first coin having the possibilities of head and tail and then second coins also we have the possibilities of getting head and tail for this we have the sample space s is equal to head tail for this we have head head tail tail right head head and the head tail tail head and then both we have head tail like this head head and then head tail here tail head and then tail 
state. These are the position we getting the sample space by tree diagram. Next we see the tree diagram for three coins. Let me take it as coin one. Now for the three coins we are going to draw the tree diagram. This is the coins. Here we get head and then tail in the first coin. The possibilities of getting head and tail is the first coin and then in that we have the second tail as the possibilities of head and tail. Here also we get that head and tail and then again we have that in the third one third coin the possibilities is head tail here also we get that possibilities head tail here also we get the possibilities head tail here also the same the third coin it may be a head or tail now we want to write the sample space for this s is equal to see how to write the sample space here head 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 in this way all the three are head 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 and then next one is head head and then tail head head tail we know that the three coins are tossed we get the sample space is 8 the 2 cube right is 8 let me check it 2 is completed now next we have head tail right head see head tail head next we have the position of head tail and then tail that is head tail tail next here we have that tail first one is tail head head tail head head and then tail head tail tail head tail and the next one is tail tail head tail tail head and then finally we get tail tail and then tail so check this sample space there is no repeated terms see all the head 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 tail head tail head 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 tail tail here we have tail head head tail head tail 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 head and tail 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 so this is the sample space so the n of s is equal to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so by using this we can be able to draw a tree diagram this is the way to draw a tree diagram thank you students to clear understand i choose three coins the first coin we get head and the second coin also we get head or we have the another possibilities we have tail suppose in the second coin also we get head means then the third coin having the possibilities of head or tail this is the condition right and then if first coin did not change as head and the but in the second coin I have changed into a tail then we have the possibilities of the third coin as head or Tail. In the same way, here the first coin is changed into a tail, and then second coin is head, tail, head, and then third coin may be a chance of head or tail. In this way, we can easily find out the tree diagram. Thank you, students.